Two boys say they were kidnapped, stripped naked, burned, and beaten on military property at Schofield Barracks. And their families say they're living in fear while the attackers run free. Hawaii News Now's Tim Sakahara has the details. Khalil Peters and Robert Robinson say Saturday they were picked up by a group of kids, taken to a home on base to hang out. Instead, they were attacked and threatened with a machete, stripped naked and beaten. 14-year-old Robert Robertson was kneed and punched in the face so bad, his jaw was shattered and needed four hours of surgery. The front was fractured. The left side was pretty much broken up. He has plates in him. He cannot talk. 12-year-old Khalil Peters says he had his head forced into a bucket and nearly drowned. And both boys were burned with salt and ice. I'm scared. I just, you know, I'm just scared. Like. And they're still out there. They still can come on post, still can bother me if they wanted to, and wouldn't nobody do anything about it. So, yes, I'm, I'm scared. They know who did it, saying it was a 19-year-old young woman and 16- and 14-year-old boys, some of whom are acquaintances. They contacted military police and the Honolulu Police Department, but say the attackers haven't even been questioned. These people are walking around free while my child, and my children, and me are living in fear. They almost killed my son. I don't want the next child to actually lose their life for something that could have been avoided by the same people. I don't, I don't want that for another mother. The Army says it is actively looking into it and takes the allegations seriously. The Honolulu Police Department is the lead investigator and has opened kidnapping, assault, and terroristic threatening cases, but is still gathering information. In Wahiwa, Tim Sakahara, Hawaii News Now.